Ah, what is going on, people? It is the Witch Talk, and we are back with some more Pokemon Ruby Sharpedo Solar Run. I didn't mess up this time. So before we start the video, I actually want to give a really quick shout out to my friend Azunya4472. Uh, this person made this really cool artwork thing that you know they tagged me on Twitter. Uh, this person is a really big supporter of the series. They've recently just came upon my channel, and uh, I love it when people show me the support, guys. It means a lot to me. Just reading your comments really do mean a lot, and you know, just showing the support. It, it really gives me the motivation to keep going. So I'm gonna leave this picture up there for the rest of the video, uh, just to show it off. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or do other stuff or try just talking to me in general, you can just uh, go on my Twitter, that link below, and talk to me there. Just at me and I'll say hi too. But also, let's take a big bite of that like button, guys. I, I think that'd be very much appreciated. Uh, also, you can see I'm still wearing the same shirt because episode 3 was like, or was it 4? I think it was 4. That was recorded like an hour ago. And now I'm doing 5. I think this is five. I, I, I lost track. Um, we did some off-screen grinding, not gonna lie. So I'm at level 24 now. Uh, I learned Crunch too, which is an amazing thing. Uh, you see, here's one thing though. Gen 3, Gen 2 and 3 get away with this because Crunch lowers the special defense. And if you guys do not know, Dark is all Dark moves are special attacking moves in this generation. So lowering the special defense actually helps in this case with crunch uh but other than that it doesn't actually help with from gen 4 and so on because you know it crunch is no longer aimed at the special defense which i think game freak should probably change i don't know why they kept it as is they should change it but oh well but anyways yeah we're at level 24 so we're gonna go ahead and go up the route because like I said, I'm still not confident to take on Brawly yet. And I I know for a fact that I, I either need to be at a strength where I can one-shot things or I can at least two-hit KO things and live. That's my biggest issue. So obviously I, I do feel kind of strong, but at the same time you guys have to realize that uh I, I need to be at this kind of strength if I actually do want to make progress in this game. Uh, it's a Sharpedo that has, we all know Sharpedo has very crappy defenses. So I, I need to be at this kind of level and strength to, you know, deal with the threats that I normally can't deal with. And uh, I actually didn't even think of a shark fact of the day yet. Uh, I'll probably think of one like right now or you know try to <laughs> while maintaining a conversation with you all which uh, might be a little difficult but uh, actually I already thought of one so we're good never mind <laughs> oh these little freaking mouses man um, I should have a blooper episode of the series soon uh, I've already made quite a few mistakes had a couple interruptions and stuff like that so uh that would be something to look out for. Probably do like a whole blooper thing like uh, once the series is done. I think that would be a funny thing to do. Uh, I don't know if you guys want me to do it like midway through the series. I could do that. I could do it what I have so far. I think if I collected all the clips as a whole and then brought it out as like a extra thing towards the end of the series, I think that would be pretty decent. So we're fighting a Roselia. This is another grass type. I mean, a grass type Pokemon. So this thing could give us a hard time. So let's see how much Crunch does. And I know these things kind of do have some special bulk, but not this one. <laughs> not this one. As you can see, I don't know. If, I don't know if you can see because I, I couldn't really tell in the uh, video from yesterday. Um, my lip is still swollen up here. Uh, I tried putting ice on it, and it, it went down a little bit. But uh, like I said, I think either I did because I have a problem I don't know if other people do as well because I grind my teeth sometimes in the middle of the night and it really leads to my gums getting sore sore and stuff like that so it, it sucks I'm trying to talk to this thing yeah, it really sucks and I have been it, it's, it's such a pain waking up to that sometimes every morning I wake up to it like it's, it's only on this side too I grind heavily on this side and it's, it's very painful to wake up sometimes with that 
So uh, I was thinking about buying one of those mouth guard retainer things to uh, basically, uh, it's not like a full retainer, it just goes around the top layer of your teeth and it it uh, has like these plastic things that go into the back of your mouth and it goes basically over the molars and stuff like that and it's, it's a very comfortable thing from what I've heard, it's very comfortable and like you don't even notice when it's there. So it's just to prevent you from snoring and from grinding your teeth. I don't snore, so that's not a problem for me. It's just the teeth grinding is probably the biggest thing. It's it's really painful for those of you guys who do not know. And unfortunately, I can't do the double battle because then Ajinya would be a part of the battle, and I, you know, it wouldn't be a Sharpedo solo run if I fought with another Pokemon. So sorry, Ajinya, you're doing fine, cutting things down right now. Oh, a little Del Caddy. I swear if we get cute charmed by this little okay. It's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, that, that's been the issue I've been having lately. I don't know if you guys have if any of you guys have had that problem as well. I know I have and it's it's super annoying. But uh not a lot I can do about it at the moment, so it's fine. I mean I guess. Um I guess what I was leading to this was I guess I probably bit my lip or something overnight, or, um, uh, cause I, I do feel a pimple underneath my mustache, as nasty as that sounds, but it's like, it's, it's like one of those, uh, it's one of those pimples that are, like, not developed, like, you know, they're not there, like, you don't see it on the outside, you just have the red spot, or the bump, and I think that is what got it swollen, so I, you know, I mean, I have acne care stuff, I just, you know, it's I it's hard to do it because I have to shave my mustache, and it will be painful because if I use a razor, I might cut the bump open. I'm not trying to talk about this, guys. You get queasy. I'm sorry. I'm just letting you know my situation. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but uh, I could just use a buzzard, but then that'd also be painful. And uh, I guess I might have to do that. So if you see me shave next episode, you know why. Yeah, that's gonna suck. But what what can I do? Uh, as you can see from last time, like an hour ago, it was like really dark. Now it's actually pretty sunny outside, so. I'm all about the darkness, but I, I, I kind of needed it so you can see me. Because if it was just a kid, I'd just put like face cam and it will just be like a black box. <laughs> and you only see like the light from the computer screen. Um, also, I've been looking into... Uh, Streaming computers actually so uh, I'm going to start saving up for a better computer uh, I actually have a really good laptop that I'm using right now. I have an Alienware uh, the uh, M14X is what I'm using at the moment. It's a really good laptop guys and believe me. I, I honestly I didn't even buy it I got extremely lucky a friend of mine who is just a really supportive friend of mine super generous uh, Said he no longer needed the laptop and he gave it to me and this laptop costs about a good grand or so. I, I was blown away, guys. It, 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 it's, I was so, I, I had no words. I was gone. Like, <laughs> I was blown the fuck back by kindness. <laughs> Let me tell you, that was the most generous thing anyone's ever done to me. Like, oh, like that at least, money wise and stuff. Like that, it, it, it truly got me my cold black heart. Felt a little warm sensation for a second, but it, it went away. Don't worry. Still got my cold black heart still there. And I'm basically I've been using this the whole time, and I'm scared of pushing this thing because I, I don't have the means of uh, replacing this thing and stuff like that. So it's I, I want to start saving up now. Uh, like I said before, guys, uh, about I'm gonna get to this in a second. Uh, like I said, I don't want to. I don't want to burn this computer out or anything like that because I'm scared because obviously it's my only thing I have to record and this thing records in such nice quality like you know the HD like 1280 to you know 1080p stuff uh, the only reason why I put my Pokemon episode at 720 1280 to 720 because uh, I, I, don't, I don't feel the need for the oh got a little stuff a little smudge in my laptop uh, I don't feel the need to actually Record at that high quality for something like this because 720 is, is perfectly fine for uh, Like older games like older Game Boy Advance games and stuff like that's like this, you know, it's it's not bad um, That's why I use it for that um, 
So we hit 10 minutes, so really quick, the uh, shark fact of the day is that the uh, bull shark is one of the only, I think it's the only shark, one of the very few sharks that can swim in salt water and fresh water. So that's the thing. If you guys do not know, most sharks live in salt water and uh, they would not be able to live in fresh water. But the bull shark is one of those only, one of the few sharks I believe that can actually do that. So it's uh, kind of scary when you think about it since uh, bull sharks are actually, I'm going to give you a little more. Like that's just a normal shark fact, but I'm going to tell you something about the bull shark in general. Uh, the bull shark is actually a very aggressive shark. It uh, look, look, let me show you an example, or not show you, I'll tell you an example. Uh, the human body, for most males, we have a testosterone level of 40. That's like, you know, that's what makes us competitive. That's what makes us aggressive. That wants to show our dominancy. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what that uh, that's what it does for us. So we reach a max of 40 testosterone. That's like, I guess, that big buff jock guy who's a cocky bastard and thinks <laughs> that he's better than everyone else uh, that's basically what it is and a bull shark's testosterone level can reach 900 so basically for the most part these guys are pissed off 24 7 like they're, they're really aggressive or they're just you know it's very unlikely that you'll still get attacked by it. Actually, you know, I think you'll get attacked by a bull shark more than like by any shark, honestly. Uh, there's been more attacks recorded from the great white, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Why can't I say its name sometimes? The great white, but the, you know, the bull shark, it's more likely to attack you than the great white. Let's put it that way. Uh, for the most part, if you guys don't even know, great white sharks are actually scared of us. Like, almost all sharks are scared of us because here's the thing when a great white shark actually goes to bite something or uh, that basically it biting is its way of you know testing what it is like what is this object I do not know what this is for us we go and like either look at it up close or touch it sharks can do that but uh, the great white it bites but the thing is people who've been bitten by great white sharks or had the first bite basically um, some have gotten lucky by only getting the first bite and I'm not saying that it's lucky to get bit by a great white but I'm saying encountering the great white and living and you know coming out with minor scratches basically the first bite is something where they don't even use full force at all like they use very minimum force to bite down on the first bite if they're it's like if it's a test bite that's what it's called a test bite if it's just you know uh, basically it's like a little tiny bite so it's it's nothing so like it, it's really nothing at the moment and I just uh, how do I explain it? it 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 basically just shows uh, man how was I trying to say it? it's uh, someone because I, I was watching interviews of uh, people who have been attacked by great whites and have experienced the test bite and their all their stories say that it's uh what do you call it like getting several shots from the dentist at once and obviously a shot is uh, it, to me it's not painful I don't really feel dentist shots but like it for me it always hurts like afterwards it doesn't like hurt right away like it hurts afterwards so that's what that guy was basically saying is like getting a bunch of shots from the dentist at once and it was hurting a little bit but not like that People know when a great white uses full force of its bite because in, in a matter of seconds it could take off your limbs and stuff like that. It's obviously like if it really wanted to kill you or hurt you, it will do it. But for the most part, great whites are scared of us. They are, they don't like, just like humans, we don't like the unknown. So great whites, they, they back off. They don't intend to attack us. Like I said, they mistake most of their prey they mistake us for their prey it's just a bad you know coincidence that we look like some of their preys at times like um oh a full restore what Azania. nice uh like i was saying um it, it's like oh, what was i saying damn it oh well it's so like i'm saying like it uh it's more scared of us than anything else is what I'm trying to basically say. Uh, 
it like every time we get in the water there's like a disturbance in the water from like a scuba like oh that's what i was saying that we are mistaken for prey like people on surfboards when they're if, if you guys do not know most great white sharks like to breach like that's how they hunt they basically like if you're above the surface their main way of attacking is coming below and just pushing something out the water that's how they get the seals and you know obviously it hurts them from a deep impact and then they just you know either get bit or they get away because it's all about aiming for great white sharks they have to have good good aim for that kind of stuff so uh yeah so with us we look like seals to them on a surfboard because when you're on a surfboard you're like this you're flat and then you have like your limbs out and then you're like paddling so that's what it looks like to us so like to them i mean that's what it looks like and even with like seal decoys that we've shown that i've seen several times in videos guys you can see like they uh purposely why did we did he hit a sand attack or something i think we did uh, they purposely like try to lure a breach from a great white shark to just for like experiments. Wow, I keep missing bite. And with that, they basically see if. Oh my god. We're getting like destroyed by an Aaron. Alright, so I'm gonna have to use Crunch because I. Okay, we hit that. I need big damage. That's what I needed. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. But, um, yeah, it, they basically provoke a great white to breach, and it's basically proven that if whatever it looks like a seal, that's what they're going to attack. Whatever looks like their food is what they're going to attack. So, we, we spent a good amount of time actually talking about sharks, which is actually really nice. So, which leads me to my next thing, guys. Uh, don't, rem uh, don't forget about uh, Fin Free. Like I said, I link it every time in these videos. Go sign their petitions. Go sign the pledge. Uh, tweet at me or show me pictures of you or print screens of you taking the pledge guys uh, it means a lot to me it really does uh, it just basically shows that you are behind this and you disagree with shark finning uh, shark fin soup at restaurants and stuff like it it's honestly such a horrible thing and it you sign these petitions and pledge like really mean a lot to me and uh, I'm not endorsed by fin free whatsoever guys I'm letting you know I'm just this is like an honest honest to god good cause coming from me it's just me showing my compassion towards these creatures i love sharks with such a great passion guys like you should know that by now and that's basically what i want to do is to show you guys that sharks aren't these creatures that we see in the movie like jaws and stuff you see i like the movie jaws i'm not gonna lie i do like it it's one of my favorite films but the problem with that movie is how they portrayed sharks. They not portrayed, uh, portray is what I meant to say. It might have sound like betray because of this sore lip thing, kind of like made me mess up. But um, the way that they make the sharks look in that movie, or just that one great white, it, it, it you can look it up yourself, like with news articles, like it caused people to go into a panic. Everyone was scared to go into the waters and stuff like that. When it, it shouldn't even be like that. It really shouldn't. Because we see these creatures as like killing machines. Now I'm not gonna lie. Great white sharks and almost any sharks, they are some of the best predators alive on this planet today. Uh, and like great whites too, they're like the perfect killing machine, just made of nothing but muscle and have such a strong bite force they can break through a car. And it yeah they they're scary i'm not gonna lie even i'm scared of great whites like uh, i'm scared of sharks but i love them as well at the same time they are my most feared creature yet my most favorite animal on, on the whole planet and you know we we've got such a bad image of them from these movies and stuff like that and it's 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 heartbreaking because well from that movie alone like people started hunting sharks as sport and like you know poaching them like killing them for their jaws and stuff like that it, it, it's, it's horrible uh, people really went out and did this because uh, they saw sharks in this light that they're out here to hurt us and we don't want them in this world anymore uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this rare candy actually boost us up even further 
that they don't want us around anymore and stuff like that when it, it's not even like that whatsoever uh the way i look at it is that you know we're stepping in their territory right we're going in the water that's where they live they're not coming up to here on land and attacking us and doing stuff like that we're nowhere near doing stuff like that if anything we're hurting them the most because not only are we polluting our oceans you know we're also going and poaching them too a lot of sharks are endangered at the moment because of stuff like this and it's it's honestly such a horrible thing guys and this is the message i'm trying to get to you guys that this stuff goes on and as sad as it is it still happens today and there's almost 9 million, like 900 million sharks that die a year because of this stuff that's going on. And that is the whole point of this Pokemon Sharpedo Solo Run series that I'm going to do with almost every Pokemon game that I can. Is to get the message out there that this is happening and I want this to stop. Or at least try my best to lower it down. Like, I'm one person, but I will try my damn hardest to make sure this message gets across and with your help guys we can do this honestly we can do this like i said i don't make almost anything off of youtube whatever i make off of this series is going straight to fin free that much i promise and even if i don't make almost anything off of this series like i'm gonna put my own money i mean i don't really have much money as it is but i'm gonna put whatever i make as, a, as much as I can into fin free because they are very strong supporters of you know shark finning and stuff like that so with that said guys we talked about sharks a lot this episode which I liked I'm getting to the point of this stuff but I also have to get to another point which is uh darkness